ladies and gentlemen, Tor Mirren and Marilyn Manson. I like they gave us white seats because of their black suits. <laughs> uh, so, Hello. hi everyone. Um, so I'm going to just start, I'm going to go right at it here. Um, the question that's on everybody's mind right now. Did you have a rib removed so that you could perform oral sex on yourself? Short answer is if I did, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> Long answer is I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> no, I think that that rumor started because I used to wear a medical back brace because I was very uh, obsessed with um, prosthetics and various medical contraptions and started collecting them. And I think that that's probably where it came from. It wasn't anything to do with you wanting to know about sucking my <laughs> Thank you. Thank goodness. Um, I, I don't know how you say that in French. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, we talked a little bit about this last night, but your, your creative process, um, writing process, musical process, good in the morning, uh, you know, do you work in the morning, you work best at night, what is your process? I think for, for the longest time, uh, 2014 for me was the year that I finally I, didn't, I wouldn't say grow, grew up or matured, because I like to think of myself more as experienced, more like the 12th grader that the 9th grade girls want to have sex with because they read some dirty magazines, they have some knowledge. Um, and I used to think that at 3 a.m. was my prime time for working, so I would have to be dragged almost to the studio at 3 a.m. And last year I made a record and I went at 3 p.m. because I would get up early. I started going to bed. You know, I, would, I would normally get up at the time I went to bed previously, 6 a.m. But I, I just learned that, uh, and then in the words of my manager, nothing good happens after 4.30 a.m. That's, that's <laughs> or 2.30 a.m. maybe. Well, sometimes good things do happen, but I figured out that when I would get things done during the day, that the part of my head that doesn't start spinning as an artist turned off at 3 a.m. Hmm. Because usually it's when you're trying to fall asleep and there's this never-ending circus going on in your head. And you can hear everything. You're trying to rhyme words that don't exist. And unsatisfied, I suppose. Yeah. Restless mind. And I figured out that it wasn't the prime moment for me to sleep. It was the moment where my brain would not shut down as an artist. So, I mean, you're working so, constantly. What, what, is, what drives you? Is it, is it sex? Is it money? Is it fame? Or is it none of the above? Or... I think, you know, everybody... I don't trust people that say they want to do something for free. Because someone once said that to me. I asked someone if they wanted to raise, and they said, it's not about the money. And I said, well, I'm going to pay you in smiles. <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta raise. Well, only, only because everyone has to make a living, you know, to sustain your life. And I have to buy cat food for my cat. <laughs> I mean, that's about that simple. I've never really, I don't want to have any cars. I'm not into the things that normal rock stars or the cliche of people yeah. would be into. But I think what I'm, it's something that I can't avoid. It's what I want to do. So if I can't sing it. I'll say it, and if I can't say it, I'll paint it. Yeah. And I like acting now because someone else tells me what to do, and I get to be someone else. So that that opens up a different outlet for me as well. 